Hi, welcome to my Hearthstone video. Hearthstone is a collectible card game that you can play online. You can play with other players all over the world, and it's free. As long as you don't want to uh, buy fancy packs of cards and get all other sorts of neat things. Because, yes, you can pay lots and lots of real money on it if you want. But so far, I haven't spent a cent, and I've got a lot of neat cards, and I've played a lot of matches yeah so you just uh, it's a lot like uh, Magic the Gathering or Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh or Force of Will and all that sort of thing but uh, it plays very quickly it's a uh, I would say at least more straightforward than most of those other ones and a bit easier to get a grip on so uh, if you haven't played any collectible card games this is probably a good way to start Right, so I'm going to click play. And it's going to load up. And here is all my decks. Here are all my decks. Maggie McFart Pants is one. Diddler's another one. I haven't named the rest of them. They give you a pile of cards to begin with. And every time you play, you uh, get more coins and stuff. And you can eventually use them to buy packs which is pretty awesome obviously when you start off you're pretty weak but you can go in to my collection and you can edit any deck that you want and it's well pretty darn cool because look I've got this is Hunter and these are two new cards that I've got since the last time I played so you're always getting new cards, you're always opening them up in the early levels. And that's great, because while well, you start off with, uh, you know, pretty lousy cards, but when you start off, you're paired with, you know, in general, pretty low-level people. And you can craft these cards and make different ones out of them and stuff like that. I've got a couple of uh, really shitty decks here, and I'm gonna play with one. My favorite is the Basic Warlock, so I'm gonna click on that. And you can go into the ranked tournament, which is way harder than casual. And casual is pretty hard, too. There are other formats you can play, like random formats and tournaments and the one-player missions and stuff like that. But uh, I haven't really gotten too far into that. I prefer to just pick it up and play with some other random character and get my ass handed to me takes a while for you to uh, get paired up with an opponent and your computer usually you know lags a bit and you always end up with a worthy opponent sometimes it's something silly like no neck gary or something like that but they never let you play no neck gary i get to go first so i'm going to and you get to throw back cards that you know you won't be using for a while so i'm just going to take the one one guy and now I got some more low casting cost people that I can play on the first turn. You have a few little expressions here. Character, yes, right. All I'm trying to do is say hi, greetings, greet you, right. Death rattle. What is this? Give another random friendly minion plus one health. Okay, one crystal gives me this guy. You can just hover over them and they show you exactly what they do. Each different character has their own special built-in ability that you can use for two. Like my guy here, I can draw a card and take two damage for two, which is really good. And it's uh, lagging a bit here. And that was really cool because my guy died, but I got a 1-1 one, one out of it because of Death Rattle, which is something that happens when your creature dies. Now it's still the enemy's turn. And hopefully he can't do anything else. He's wondering. He's probably gone to the bathroom. Yeah, and if you take too long, eventually, right across the middle here, a fuse will start to burn down. Okay, they ended it. And then if you wait too long, you're screwed. All right. All minions cost one more. Deal three damage to all characters. This guy's got stealth. That's cool. But I'm going to go with the Succubus, because she's a 4-3 for 2, but you have to discard one random card, and I really wanted that one. And I am going to smack the guy for 1. 
with this shadow beast and I have no more crystals. One thing I really like about this is you get a crystal every turn. So your crystal count just builds up gradually regardless of how crappy your hand is. In other card games you can end up getting, well, screwed? In this case you really can't do that. Yes, you can get cards you can't play for sure. But you're never going to have no mana for something. This guy's got tons. Do I want to use that? I can't use it because I only have three. So I'm just going to pay two life. And get another succubus. And I'm going to smack him for one. Kapow! And in my turn. Next turn, I'm going to play uh, this one with a taunt. Because I'll have four. Now, let's see what they do. This one has Charge and Divine Shield. The Divine Shield is used. It's gone. And... The Charge just means he can attack on the first turn. So, what is this guy going to do? What is his ability? Hero Power. Gain 2 Armor. So, that's really good every time he has 2 extra Crystals he doesn't use. He can just, well, gain two armor, which gets added to his life total, essentially, so he can get really hard to kill. And this guy's really slow. You can play with the stuff here in the background a little bit. There we go. There's your little fuse. Click on this. Something happens. I can chip away at this rock. What is your problem, sir? Just smack me for two and be done with it. Play something. Grumpy Cat has gone to the bathroom. I love Grumpy Cat. Battle Cry. Deal three damage to my hero. Well, I'm going to play this taunt guy first. Because that means he has to go through that one before he hits any other creature or me. And now that his little uh, fuse has blown up on him, the fuse starts really quick and just keeps going. So he has to play even faster. So let's get this guy pummeled. Because, well, what is this here? Let's get this guy pummeled because he doesn't seem to be uh, very intent on playing me at all. Battle cry, deal three, three damage to my hero. Doesn't matter. Mana ray. What happened there? Okay, I tried to attack with my character. He has no attack value, so he can't really attack. You can get certain cards that you can equip to your character. The Warlock really is not one of them. So, yeah, this guy seems to be, well, completely given up on this, so I'm just going to smack him as fast as I can, and hopefully... He'll just be uh, dead this turn, dead next turn at the very least. He has one of those self-destruct buttons there, so usually when people are, well, absent, they just self-destruct. Like, if, oh my god, I started playing and I didn't really want to, I would just blow myself up. But this guy is intent on, well, letting me smack the crap out of him. This character here has Wind Fury. That means she can hit twice. That minion already attacked. Sorry. You're dead anyway. And Kapow. And I'm going to say, well, well played. Even though I'm sure that person didn't pay one bit of attention to, well, what I was doing or what they were doing. That happens. So let's try and get a more uh, active opponent this time. Be down. Deal 100 damage to enemy heroes. That's one of my daily quests. If I manage to smack people around for 100 hit points, well, I'll get some sort of a bonus. Usually it's 40 or 50 coins or something like that. Let's find another worthy opponent. Most matches are not that easy. Not at all. 
And here it is lagging again. Wah, 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 wah. Please find me a worthy opponent. I like when I get unworthy opponents, but, you know, I, I like them to actually play. Uther! Uther Lightbringer, he's a paladin. Will fight with honor. I get an extra card because I'm not going first. This is a really good hand, and I'm going to take it. Um, yeah, this is a really good hand, and I get an extra mana crystal because I'm going second. Greetings! You're pretty limited in things you can say. Well met. Well met. So let's play this right off the bat. So we can get this guy out. And this guy out. He is stealth. So he can't be targeted. And at the end of a turn, you give another random friendly minion one health. So he's going to be unkillable, more or less. And he's just going to keep powering up some other creature we have there. So we are off to a really good start here. When this minion takes damage, also deals that amount of damage to your hero. Yeah, so this is, you know... This deck I've got going here is kind of suicidal. So it makes for quick games. You either, well kick the crap out of yourself or you just help them kick the crap out of you but he, every now and then you'll get off to such a quick start while the other person doesn't ever recover so Andrew battle cry restore three health to yourself and well now I am you know back to square one deal four damage to a minion do I want to kill that or do I want to slap something else out I want to slap something else out that's going to power everything up. And I'm going to smack away at him. I'm not going to smack with this one because I'm pretty sure if I smack him, I lose the, uh, the stealth. So I'm just going to end my turn. And I'm going to pick something out of my ear. Come on! We are, well, we are off to a really quick start here. And, uh... It's going to be hard for him to recover from that. Deal four... Oh! Two damage to all enemies. Does that kill everything? Oh, that only kills the goblin ringleader, dude. Oh, what, what's going on? Oh, man! Wow, no, it didn't just kill the uh, <laughs> ringleader, dude, did it? Wow. Wind Fury. And swap the health and attack of a minion, so I'll just swap this one. Sometimes that turns out really good, because if somebody has one with a high attack and high or high health or whatever, and you can switch it on them and then kill them. Give them low health and smack them and kill them. I suppose I should say, you know, the two numbers here, one's attack and one's defense. If you haven't figured that out by now, or if uh, if it hasn't been entirely obvious, and maybe maybe it hasn't, and I apologize for that. Pretty much every every card game like this, you will end up with some sort of attack and defense ratio. And in this case, it's a uh, well attack and defense. And you can attack whatever you want. You can attack either the player or you can attack any of their minions. One good thing about this is you can pretty much only do stuff on your own turn, which makes it a bit more straightforward. I am. Deal three dam deal four damage to a minion, so I'm going to kill that. Let's see, get that out of the way. I'm going to... Smack, smack... I don't know what he's thanking me for, but it makes me suspicious, and I'm probably going to die. I'm down to 19, so you can see uh, I've been kicking the crap out of myself pretty good. Yeah, he's got 7 now, so the big stuff's going to start coming out, and the stuff with taunt. Wow, this is not good. 
So he's got a 4-6 with taunt. That means I have to go through that. And I have no way of taking care of it. But I do have some of my own taunt creatures to slap out there. And I'm just going to smack him for two anyway. So the two, the damage that goes on him this turn will stay on him for next turn. So that will make him a little bit easier to kill. But he can't hit me either. Because I've got some taunt. And if I don't get something done about those big creatures, I'm pretty screwed myself. Yeah, it's not looking good here. Alright, I am going to draw another card. It's going to give me something with taunts. I'm going to just keep slapping stuff out here for no good reason. I'll take care of that. And, well, that's all I can do. And in another couple of turns, he's going to have me killed. Good game, Andrew. I really don't see it turning around here. His ability is summon a 1-1 one, one Silverhand Recruit. So every time he's got two extra crystals, he can just make one of those. And, well, that gets really annoying. What's he building up now? He's building up that thing that has that shield on it. Oh, and now he's going to follow me. Ah! Give me something. Give me something good. This has Wind Fury. But I'm going to just... Pay two life and deal three damage to all characters. Here. Take that. Does that make me survive for another turn? Not really. Get this out. This has taunt. So at least he might not be able to kill me this turn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm toast. So he's just going to kill my taunt guy. My silverback patriarch with his uh, with his character, and then he's going to go in for six with that big old thing. And that's a well played. Thank you, Andrew. Yeah, pummeled me. I thought I had a chance there for a little while, and I dealt a hundred damage to enemy heroes, and I got well forty gold that I can use towards other packs. One annoying thing about this game is the cards are generally specific to the class of character. So if I find a good hunter card, it'll only be good with the hunter. There are some cards that can go anyway, go on to any deck, but in general, the better cards are going to be class specific. But it's a small complaint given that, you know, you get all these cards for free and you can play as much as you want. And it's pretty, pretty awesome. So you got your solo adventures here. You can practice against the AI. The arena, that's like drafting. You forge your deck quickly from random cards and hope you've done it better than your opponent. And Tavern Brawl gives you a new challenge on a weekly basis. And, well, sometimes it lets you play with really overpowered cards. Gives your opponent really overpowered cards. And then you have to just go at it. Sometimes you don't even need well, crystals or mana to play the cards. Sometimes it's just all out craziness. And I usually lose at that as well. Here's the shop. You can buy packs with gold or money. There's your classic. There's a bunch of expansions. Grand tournament. Two packs are two nine nine. Seven packs are nine nine nine. So Compared to buying actual cardboard cards, it's reasonable. But he, you can see how addictive it can get and how expensive it can be. But still, overall, it's a very worthwhile experience. So thanks for watching my video, and uh, I recommend downloading Hearthstone. And you can get it on PC and on mobile. See you later.